Hey guys, it's me Baker, and uh, damn, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in forever. But um, anyway, uh, I told you I was gonna be doing a movie review, most likely, and I think I've chosen the movie. This is actually gonna be two movies in at one because I watched the first movie and I watched the sequel. Um, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's called Grave Encounters, and I uh, I watched it on Netflix. I mean, both of them are available on Netflix, but the first one is, like, I don't know if you guys ever watch, like, the ghost shows, like, Ghost Hunters or whatever, and the paranormal guys, like, go in there and they, like, videotape it. Well, like, apparently this movie is supposed to be about, like, the guy who first started that, and, like, apparently he always just, like, fakes everything, like, it, he... Like, sometimes he'll just be like, what was that? You know, nothing really happened. Just like the real show. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't believe in that stuff. But, um, this movie was pretty good. The first one. Um, I had a bad rating on Netflix, but I'd probably give it the three, three out of five stars. But anyway, um, so what happened was, uh, like, they go into this insane asylum or something like that. And, uh, in the insane asylum... Like, they they had, like, a guy lock them in there for, I think it was six hours. They were supposed to be locked in there. And, like, they would be uh, released at, like, 6 a.m. in the morning. So, like, they're sitting in there, and, like, the stories, like, they hear some of the people's, like, stories. Like, they saw, like, a floating figure in the back of the hallway. Like, this guy closes the window, and it, like, every time he comes back, it's always open. It's pretty weird. But, um, like, they, they set up videotapes and everything. And, um, like, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was really funny, the, uh, ending of it, but anyway, so, I don't know. Um, so they start, like, filming, and there's, like, this one guy who's, like, Puerto Rican or something, I don't know, and then there's a black guy, and then there's this female, like, chick, I believe she's goth, I can't remember, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's goth, and then... There's, like, a nerdy guy who, like, watches the cameras all the time. And then there's the host who's, like, the dude who, like, is really interested in this stuff. But, um, he doesn't, like, believe in ghosts. And then they go in there, and, like, <laughs> this chick's, like, doing, like, an uh, EVP session or whatever. And it's, like, uh, paranormal, like, voice communication or something like that. Like, have a, have a uh, tape recorder, and they, like... They're He's asking done. like questions like, "Who are you? Reloading. What's your name? When? When was, Can't when was the last thing that happened to you?" And then they like play it back and see if they get something. So she starts playing it back, and then her hair just like flies up, and then like everyone's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" And then they're like all freaking out and stuff. And then like the dude who's like really like the host, he does he's not like super affected by it. And this is where, like, the freaky stuff starts happening. And <laughs> the first person to die is, like, the Puerto Rican guy or whatever, which I thought was really funny. And, like, he dies, he's just, like, I'm pretty sure he was, like, in the hallway, and he started getting, like, strangled or whatever by a ghost or something, and then he gets, like, then there's, like, this big, like, nuke that went off or something. No, it's not really a nuke. It was just, like, like a light beam, like a light ball just, like, okay, imagine, like, a light bulb just like bursting from too much energy I guess and then he like flies across the room and he's dead and then next um they're like sitting in this bathroom or whatever and the bathroom is supposed to be haunted because this chick like slit her wrists in the tub or some stuff and um so they come back to the bathroom and stuff and uh like the he's tub's gone. full of blood oh I forgot to mention that that uh nerdy science guy like, he went to go pick up some of the cameras and stuff, and he got, like, kidnapped by the ghost, and then he's, like, all crazy and stuff. So the dude's, like, sitting in the bathroom, the crazy Enemy's guy. Down. He's, like, standing over the tub, and he's just, like, looking down, and he's, like, laughing at the puddle of blood. And then the black guy goes over there, and he's like, yo, dude, yo, we gotta get out of here, yo. And then, like, he goes over, and, and the guy just down. starts laughing. And then, like, some chick or something, like, pulls him into the tub of blood, and then, like, the dude drops the camera, it's really crappy cinematics or whatever, drops the camera, and then you hear, like, the tub get poured out, and then, like, he picks up the camera, and he's like, he's gone, he's gone, and then, yeah, that pretty much sums it up, really, like, 
he 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 disappears. Then like that crazy guy like falls down an elevator shaft. Then the two the like goth chick and the dude, the host like climb down the elevator shaft and they like go into the basement that's supposed to only be like a quarter mile long, but it, like turns out that they just like continue walking and walking. Then like this like mist rolls in and the chick just Guilt suddenly confirmed. disappears. So now it's just like the TV host all by himself, and he just like continues walking and walking. And at this time, like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry. But like, what happened is, like, <laughs> like the six hours had gone by, and um, and the sun hasn't come up and stuff. Like, they've been down there for like three or four days, and the sun hasn't come up. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't mean, I didn't mention that. But like, yeah. So, um, the sun comes, the sun never comes up, and the dude's just, like, sitting there, wandering, wandering around, and, and he finds, like, a rat that goes by, like, takes this big pipe, and he, like, beats the crap Confirmed. out of it, starts eating it, and then, like, he's, like, walking down the hall, after he turns the video camera back on, he's like, guys, you gotta see it, I've been walking for, like, a couple hundred miles, and I, I finally oh, found a door, no. so then he goes in the doorway, and then, like, he's, like, in the door, and... Like, he goes inside, and it's just, like, a medical hospital room. And then, like, he, like, looks over at some pictures, and he turns around. And there's, like, this doctor doing, like, a lobotomy or whatever it is. Lobotomy. Like, that's, like, a brain transplant. And then, like, the doctor captures him or whatever. And he turns the camera back on, and he's like, The doctor said I can go now. Because I'm, like, sane or whatever. And sane means that he's not insane. It's the opposite of insane. If you don't know what insane is, then you're probably insane. Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, so the guy, the guy like has blood like running down his face or whatever, and then the movie ends, and then the next movie picks up about like a dude doing a YouTube review, and the guy like in the beginning they're all partying and there's chicks making out and stuff, and he gets like dressed up as a girl and he gets drunk and stuff. But anyway, after that like they decide that they're making like a horror film or whatever, and the dude is like, yeah, you know that place actually exists, right? And then they're like, no, it doesn't. So then they, like, go to Canada. And the original movie was, like, made in, like, friggin', I think it was South South Carolina or something like that. Anyway, so, like, apparently it was all filmed in Canada. Transitioning. And, um, like, the dude, like, takes the freaking like, camera down to Canada and stuff. And, like, he goes up to Canada and, like, he goes inside the place and like on the door it still says death away so I didn't tell you that in the first one but yeah. It's kind of hard because I'm trying to rush through all this so if I leave any parts out guys I'm sorry this is just basically just a review. Um, the first one I gave 3 out of 5 stars. This one I'd probably give um, maybe a 3.5 out of 5 stars. But anyway um, so the guy like the, the like this teenager guy now. And like they're making a horror film, and there's another goth chick, the chick that makes out with other chicks. There's the blonde cheerleader, and then there's the jock, and there's a Japanese guy. Of course, the Japanese guy dies first, and um, yeah, he gets like pushed Kill out of window. And uh, like, and uh, in the beginning of the film, they're like, "Yo, this has Damn. not been doctored in any way. This is not fake." And then like. They, they uh, get in the building and they're like not thinking Can't everything confirm. exists. And then there's like people with their mouths like open like super huge <sighs> and crazy stuff. And I mean, I thought it was an okay movie, but the second one was just really funny because um, explosive charge. Like, so the Japanese guy dies first, and then confirm. next it's the goth chick. She like gets her head crushed by a spear or something against the floor, and then she gets dragged away. The it's next done. like they, they like. The down. cheerleader, the Enemies jock, down. and the, like, film dude, they, like, meet up with the guy from the first one, like, the crazy dude that, like, killed the rat or whatever, and, like, um, like, they're, like, down in this, like, the place, or whatever, like, they're downstairs in the, like, I don't know, what you call it, like, Confirm. Capture your strike Anyway, so they're downstairs. And, <laughs> like the guy is like super crazy. He's been down there for like nine years or something like that. And uh, and uh, then like that dude has like ghost be his friend now or something. And they record him like doing stuff, and they're like finish the movie or whatever. So like what happens is he kills like the jock, and then he like goes over to uh, the freaking. Like, 
they, uh, they review the film or whatever, and they see that I killed him, and then they're like really peeved at him. And he goes crazy because he has like this door that's like a self-standing red Drop door, him. and like he expects like it's it's a door, all right? There's no like wall on the other side. It's just like a door standing up by itself, and it has like chains around it. And he thinks that Kill if he confirmed. touches it, he can get out because he's like been trapped down there. And uh, there's like no way out because all the stuff is like closed. And if you open the door, it's like going to like a room that never even existed. And, like, hallways were blocked off and stuff. But anyway, so um, like Down. he expects that if he cuts open the door, he'll like get free to free or whatever. But um, yeah, he like gets the bolt cutters. He cuts through it. He just opens it and it just doesn't do anything. And it's really funny. And the dude's like laughing. And then like the spirit telling him to finish the film. So he tries to murder like the blonde chick and the, like, filmmaker or whatever, like, he gets Gun sucked down. into the wall, that's like, a sideways freaking like, tsunami or whatever, he gets like, sucked into the wall, and then, they tell like, the film director, to like, finish the film or whatever, so he starts like, whacking the blonde chick in the face with the camera, he like, finally kills her, and then like, he like goes over to the self standing door. He like opens it. Somehow he like ends up in a desert. He turns around and the door like falls apart. And then like he ends up like getting picked up by the cops or whatever. And then he like goes to like the original like place where like the movie was produced or whatever. And they're like just so you know, none of this was real. None of all of this was fake. This guy has a potential future in being like a great filmmaker because he could do all the effects and stuff. And then he just like stares into the camera and he's just like, none of this was real. And then he like does a smile. And that's basically the end of the movie. And yeah, I recommend you should watch it. I thought it was kind of funny, but um, not into scary movies. That's that's cool. Dropped him. This has been Baker. Peace, guys. Confirmed. Operation complete. Nice job, squad.